All right, hey, welcome back to Ravewood Acres. So it is time to take this case that I 3D printed and install the snap together version. So we're gonna tear this apart and put it together. It's pretty much the same thing, except for this one has been redesigned and I'll put the designer's information down below and the link to his files so you can download them yourself and print one for yourself. But this is the style, the remix version that allows you to put that SMA, SMA connector so you can have an external antenna. And it's also a thicker version of the main chassis so that you can put a larger um, battery in here for longer life. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we have it disassembled, um, I won't need this hardware for this project anymore, but uh, of course save it for other projects. There is some panels that still require screws, but the main chassis snaps together, which makes it nice. So real easy way to do it is just, you can have your battery disconnected if you want, but um, so the main T deck sits down in here like this. Um, and then, so the main cover, the front part of the case just slips over. You're going to gently snap those down. See how it snaps into place and make sure that I got everything seated correct correctly or I go forcing anything together here. Wow. That was easy. I really like that design. That's way better. I'm totally digging it. All right, let's put the back on. All right, for just this, you're gonna just slide the way I did it. You can, you can, I put the star washer if I can get it to slide on there <laughs> on that side, slide it up through here and then it's, it's a little sticky, so you might need the rest of the, the lock washer on this side is how I did it. And then you've got your little nut. And then <clears throat> 5 16 or 8 millimeter will work also. Wrench. Should be able to kind of hold it with your thumb and just, cause it's not like you're putting a lot of force on this. I still got a pretty good gap there. I need to clue. Oh, yeah. See, I just probably a little corner of a piece of plastic in there. Finally broke free. Get that good. Just snug so that your antenna will seat properly. You're ready to go. Um, and then this also snaps on. So take that. Maybe I should put the bottom in first. It's pretty tight. Okay, just took a little more force that snaps in there. Good, good fit, real good fit. I really like it. This, of course, I'm going to upgrade the battery to a larger battery, but the the printed, this is the original version one. See how it's just flat? This one's got a, a little recess piece here that helps it just kind of sit down in there. And then this is gonna require four screws for the corner. Um, I'll probably use, I got a pack of these. So these are Phillips self-tapping screw kit off Amazon. I'll, I can put a link below, but it's got basically the, they're all metric, so M1.3, all the way to um, 1.76, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna go with an M1 
seven by five or 0 0.5 if that's whatever that is. I'll show you here in a second. That works just right. Remember it's plastic so don't over tighten it. So this is the one I used, M1.75. So, okay, so it's all together. Uh, I like it way better than having to use those screws. It's gonna be, I'm sure something you're gonna really have to be careful about is if you need to open it up, which really the only compartment you're gonna need to open is it would be this one with the battery for the most part. Um, if you have to get into it, I'd be very careful about prying these off because it's PLA. Um, it could, you know, snap pretty easy if you put too much force on it. So, all in all, I'm really like like it way better than having all these screws and having to deal with that if you do need to remove it. So, great job. Uh, I'll put the designer's name and information here in the screen. And then of course, as I mentioned, links to all of his, or to his design and where you can download his files there. If you're interested in what we're doing here, check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com. You can also follow us and join the conversation over a telegram. We have a Laura Mesh Communications group there. There's an invite link down below that will get you into the group. And we're at over 80 members now, really active. A lot of good information being shared. Um, people from all over the world. We have other social media links, which are linked below. You can follow me there. And don't forget to support the channel. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.